Hi guys, it's Red and today we are back for some more of Life is Strange. So we are in Chloe's kitchen, uh, still currently looking around. What's this? Looks like David already booked a room. Okay. The Blotch Hotel. Sounds great. Um... Sliding door. Let's have a look. Birds. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Mmm, understandably so. Uh, he was probably trying to get out as fast as he could, which, you know, we all would do in that situation. I think that's it. I think that's it for the garden. You guys, just some dead birds. Oh, what's this? William never finished painting that wall. Oh. Oh. That's crazy. Okay. Let's go back in. Um photo Joyce must be so upset are you helping anybody Max wow I mean this is the better outcome I feel like for Chloe's sake newspaper to think this all started with my vision of a tornado <clears throat> Um, Arcadia Bay Beacon, Eco Apocalypse Now. While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is, since the beginning of this week, in the literal eye of an environmental storm. Starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half a half dozen beached whales. Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Interesting. Even NASA is investigating. Cool. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Okay. Uh, email? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Uh, from Raymond Wells to David Madsen. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best, Principal Wells. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Uh, from Michelle Grant <clears throat> to David Madsen I don't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming best of luck to you Miss Grant are you serious suspension at least he has one weird fan from anonymous to David 
Dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you. And the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of the school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Wow. From David to Raymond Wells. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen. D. David Madsen. Okay. There's a lot of emails. Wow. Of course, of course, someone had to email in, you know, and take his side. And maybe it's, maybe he has a fair point somewhere in his argument. But <laughs> as I've said before, he's really not the best at articulating himself. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Uh, what does this say? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best. Sean Prescott. Ooh, okay. Weird, but okay. Either Chloe stole another gun, or... David is out there armed. I believe it's probably the latter, uh, meaning that he is out there with a gun for some reason. For some very strange reason. I. Well, look at this. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Oh, confidential. Pan Estates. So, I'm guessing where the red crosses are, or where cameras are being placed, or have been placed. Yes, that is the truth, because it's watermarked at the bottom left corner, as uh, it being cameras. There's a lot of cameras. I guess it's a very big estate. Right, guys? William's stuff. Oh! Oh, that makes me sad. I know. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. <sighs> Max, 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 Max. I don't know what to say. Flyers? I wonder if David is going to the party. The end of the world party. Blackwell's swimming pool. On Thursday. On Thursday. There's a little paper ball. I want to see. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to choice. Let's read it. Okay. Um, Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I would beg to differ. Um, maybe not intentionally in the way that I'm thinking, but I mean, slapping her around the face is pretty, uh, pretty ballsy of you, David. Anyway. Um, so I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay. I have never told you. 
You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favourite home and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. I mean, it's still a bit... It's still a bit hard to understand, to be honest. There are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay. I can believe that much. You know. Um... I mean, I've always kind of felt like David is a little bit of a troubled soul, you know. There's some depth to him. There's some darkness there. Obviously, he was uh, in the army, so that will kind of do it to you, you know. But, um, is there nothing else in here? There's nothing else in here. Okay, I'm leaving via this door. Okay. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yeah. Uh um, I helped Joyce lose William and now David. Max, why are you making me feel so bad for? I can't even remember why we came down. Why did we come down? What's this note? Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J Price. It's from Joyce. <laughs> Clearly. Ooh. I mean, I'm here for it. Jar? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Travel money! Nice. Yeah, the sliding door. So do I go back up? I guess I go back up, no? What's this on? Oh, the photo. Oh, that's right, you guys. That's right. I've got to go. I think I've got to go back up. Don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. What? I went to David's locker. You mean this? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that is okay. a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What you hiding, David? What you hiding? Oh, use. Okay. Wait, what? I don't know. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. What? What? Oh god. Oh god. This? Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, come on. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Ooh, that was slick. Nicely done. Well done, Max. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. 3.17 p.m. Bl Blackwell Academy parking. This is of Kate. Oh, what? Latitude, long... Longitude, the dates, times. What? He's taking, he took photos of Nathan beating up Warren in a car park w when we was there, when Chloe just came in, swooped in and saved us. Right at the very beginning. And he was just stood there taking pictures like a creep. What? This is, this is so disturbing on so many levels, you guys. 
Kate Marsh. She knows something. I cannot even. <sighs> Score. Back to Chloe now. Quick, Max. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yo, Chloe. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the yeah. hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. I love how seemingly that was like the only thing in the locker and that the locker itself This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're going to string Nathan up by his balls, then. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, my God, Kate! Oh! Hi! Max! Oh, Kate. Oh! I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Aww. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But yeah, I, I can believe that. Yeah, I can believe that. For a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And wow. I thought she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, I'm so glad we saved her. I'm so glad. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. <clears throat> um, postcards. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. In our hearts and thoughts, 
We love you, Kate. Blackwell Academy. Trevor, Alyssa, Warren, Luke, Zach, Daniel, Max, River, Stella, Justin, Hayden, Rory, Flowers. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Uh, Kate, I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything, XO Vic. <clears throat> okay. Um. Can I go back? No, I can't. I guess I could just ask her about it when we do speak to her. Uh, see so yeah, the picture. I guess that's the bathroom. I can leave the hospital whenever. That's interesting. I've got the seat here, book. I've got a book. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. A book report. Drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Uh, where is she? I miss my banana, mustard, bored cat. Walk here. No idea. Get I don't well. think get well is quite apropos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't think they make balloons that say, I'm glad you survived. You know, I'm glad you, I'm glad it didn't work. You know. Um, what's this? If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Okay. Yeah, of course. Faith definitely helps. <laughs> Trust <nice> me. <laughs> I know. And from Taylor? <laughs> wow, props to her. Uh... From Taylor? Those from are nice Taylor? flowers. And from Taylor? From Taylor? Wow, props to her. That's sweet. Taylor is pretty nice, though. When she's not trying to not be, you know? She's quite nice. Can I sit and talk to her? Maybe I can't. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Let's speak Kate, to Kate. It's so good to hang out with you again, Max. I owe you so much, and I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want to talk to you about firstly Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. Mm. I might be naive, but mm. I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Um, uh, maybe because she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, right. you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look exactly. like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Let's talk about Nathan. I want you to know I'm... This close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And Agreed. Stop him from hurting anybody else. Agreed. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so yep. that might be a start. Yeah. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Um 
I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. Yeah. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going yeah. to stop him. I just no. have to find Nathan's Hopefully room number, <laughs> get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, Nathan's room help. number? I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Oh. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Oh. Oh, are we really doing this? Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Nathan's room number? And all that. Okay. I always want to talk to you. Okay. We start tea this week. <laughs> that was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Ooh. Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels <laughs> need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh, Kate! Thanks again for visiting me, Max. You're so welcome! Uh. Okay. Okay. I think that's it, you guys. That's it for this room. So we will leave and say goodbye to Kate. Goodbye, Kate.